Good day everyone. Welcome to another episode of Agri Guru Lesson. So for today's episode, I'm going to discuss module number 3, Interpret Plants and Drawing, so which is the continuation. And I'm going to discuss surface irrigation system. Surface irrigation consists of first furrow system. So what is that furrow system? So a furrow system or a furrow irrigation by cutting the ridge. So this is the example. So in this sample, as you can see that there are furrows. So one, ayan mo yung mga furrows. Kumbaga yun yung dinadaanan ng tubig mismo. And ito yung tinatawag na ridge. So kung saan natin itatanim yung ating mga halaman. So, ano ba yung furrow irrigation by cutting the ridge? So, ito po, ito yung mismong ridge na nakaharang. So, ang gagawin lang natin, in order for us to irrigate, so that the water will flow on the furrows, so, kailangan natin hukayin. Ayan, isa-isa. Kung nakikita nyo, meron tayong parang tatlong falls dyan. So, we're in, yun yung tinatawag nating furrow irrigation by cutting ridge. So, inakat natin yung ridge. Ito yung pinaka-ridge mismo. So, isa subdivide lang natin siya. Depende sa number of furrows that we have in our farm. Okay po. And the next one is furrow irrigation system with sipons. So, yung sipons po na tinatawag natin, kumbaga it's like a flexible pipe wherein sila yung kumukuha ng tubig or humihigop ng tubig para at least mag-flow yung tubig going to the furrows na meron tayo. Unlike the other one, etong part na to ay nakakat. Ayan, parang nahukay nila. Pero dito sa furrow irrigation with sipons, kailangan lang natin ng flexible pipes para at least mahigop yung tubig going to the furrows on our farm. Okay? Next. 1.2 Border Irrigation System. So, number 1, in a border irrigation controlled surface flooding is practice whereby the field is divided up to into strips by parallel ridges or dikes and each strip is irrigated separately by introducing water upstream and is progressively conver covers the, intra the entire strip. So, ang border irrigation system, kumbaga subdivided yung places mo, kailangan na sa flat surface lang po siya. So, ano ba yan? So, ini-irrigate natin siya each subdivided field. So, wherein, doon mismo papasok yung tubig para at least mag-flow or matliligan yung ating mga halaman. So, this one is an example of border irrigation system. So, as you notice, so this one, nakikita nyo po ay katulad sa rice field. Kailangan na sa flat surface siya. So, individually, meron po yan na uh, butas wherein doon papasok mismo yung tubig na pagpapatubig natin coming from the river or any uh, part na meron tayo mapagkukuha na ng tubig or yung water source na tinatawag natin. Ito, katulad nito, ayan. So, surface irrigation, which is subdivided po siya into how many uh, fields. Next. Border irrigation is suited for crops that can withstand flooding for a short time. So, kailangan mas maganda yung parang binabaha, okay lang pag binaha siya, walang problema mag uh, ano pa rin yung ating crops pero hindi naman yung totaling baha na wipe out lahat so example na yung wet okay I or kahit yung sa mga rice natin so pwede po siya, kaya pwede po siya sa border irrigation system next, it can be used for all crops provided that the system is designated to provide the needed water control for irrigation of crops. So, pwede naman siya sa lahat ng crops, pero kailangan nating bantayan at kailangan nating kontrolin kung gano'n karami yung papasok na tubig mismo dun sa ating field. It is suited to soils between extremely high and very low 
infiltration rates. 5. In border irrigation, water is applied slowly. So, slow is by slowly, uh, yung tubig ay pumapasok at para at least madiligan yung ating mga halaman. Number 6. The root zone is applied with water gradually down the field. And number 7. At a time, the application flow is cut off to reduce water losses. So, pwede nating tambakan or yung butas mismo na ginawa natin ay takloban na natin para at least hindi malos yung water. Ideally, there is no runoff and deep percolation. Number 9. The problem is that the time to cut off the inflow is difficult to determine. And number 1.3, Basin Irrigation System. Characteristics of Basin Irrigation System. First, in Basin Irrigation, water is flooded in wider areas. It is ideal for irrigating rice. So, it's almost the same with uh, surface irrigation system. But, in this one, so kahit flooded siya, in wider areas, no problem. So, the area is normally flat. So, make sure flat yung area natin. Hindi siya yung slope or any uh, or diagonal ang pagkakastal niya. So, kailangan flat lang po siya. Ito po yung basin irrigation system. Na sample po siya yung sa rice field. And almost the same with the uh, irrig uh, surface irrigation system. In basin irrigation, a very high stream size is introduced into the basin so that the rapid movement of water is obtained. So, kumbaga, meron kang water source na mapagkukuhanan. Let's say, for example, yung river. So, mabilis di ba yung stream niya or mabilis yung pag-agos ng tubig. So, pwedeng-pwede po yan para mabilis natin mapatubigan yung ating mga halaman. Number four, water does not infiltrate a lot initially. So, hindi natin ma-filter yung mismong pumapasok na tubig dun sa ating mga uh, halaman. Number 5, at the end, close the water inlet to avoid water loss in the pond. So, kailangan natin takloban yung mga butas mismo na meron na ginawa tayo dun sa ating mismong uh, farm. Number six, the opportunity time difference between the upward and the downward ends are reduced. The size of basin is related to stream size and the soil type. And that would be all. Thank you and God bless.